dance partner who's quite patient. My ideal partner would be someone very determined, very focused, and very, very competitive. Hello, babe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. In casualty, I have loads of lines to learn. What's the matter? I love you! She doesn't! I'm hoping that that's going to stand me in good stead for um, learning my dance routines. I'm feeling extremely nervous. It's easy. Just tell yourself it's easy. She isn't a dancer. She's not trained. This is my speciality. Again, you're not allowing me to lead it. I've probably got the attention span of a three-year-old. I've only told you, like, whoa, 72 times. I expect Georgina to give me 100%. <laughs> just having a break. <laughs> I'm just finding the training quite tough. I've never, ever heard anyone moan so much in my life. Yes, I want to win, and any of the dancers which say they're not bothered if they win or if they don't, they're lying. I'm feeling a bit shy about doing all this sexy stuff. Do you feel sexy? A bit. I'm going to take it as far to that limit as I can to be raunchy and sexy. You've just got to have no inhibitions and just go for it. Oh, yeah, see that? Woohoo! When it comes to the crunch, I will give it my all. That was awful. Oh, it was all closing. He had about as much romance as an autopsy. It was a rumba setting cement. You cannot put your foot down and use your hips at the same time. You show absolutely no potential in the dance part. Oh. I wouldn't like to see you I humiliate yourself so any hard. further. I can now reveal the couple with the lowest score and out of Strictly Come Dancing is... It's Misha and Ian! I really was expecting them to say Georgina and James. So when they said Misha and Ian, that was just... real shock. And they join me now. Please welcome Georgina and Jane. <laughs> so, thank you for coming in. Your face, you just went... <laughs> like, as if... Hold on, no, I've got my rucksack. There's a taxi outside. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't swear, actually. How shocked were you? Did you just assume... Right, yeah, curtains? I totally assumed that we were going, didn't I? Yeah, you did. But then I did turn to James and say, Babes, gut instinct, what do you think? And he went with staying. Why did you think that, James? Because you got mauled by I the just judges. Felt, yeah, I just felt that the judges were really unfair, and I was just hoping that the people sitting at home could see that and hopefully vote for Georgina for that reason. And I think that that could yeah. have possibly been the reason that we stayed in. How did you find it? I mean, when I was watching you and those judges, it was like watching somebody getting body blows. <laughs> it was horrible. You were, like, just recoiling. Then you'd come back and go, oh, no, this one will be nice. Oh, no, <laughs> right. I'm back. <laughs> well, it was strange because actually at the end of our routine, I felt that we'd done it quite well, and I felt like, oh, this must be what Torval and Dean felt like <laughs> at the end of that. <laughs> and I was hugging James, going, it's great, well done, Rose, and preparing myself for loads of praise. And then that happened. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she's done a great job, I must say, considering yeah. what... what he really stuck up. What really. happened at the beginning, she walked in and it was a nightmare. I mean, really, you found it yeah, really difficult I at the did. beginning. And to produce something like that in such a short time, I thought was great. So. You're so sweet, James, because you went from... <laughs> to lovely. And he, nobody saw that coming, really. But the thing is, he is a lovely guy. He's a really lovely guy. He's very passionate about what he does, but he's just got a bad temper. Yeah, but th that's the <laughs> looking that at it. Sorry, right. uh, have, have a look at this. <laughs> Kill you. If I don't lead you... I thought you would. Wait. <laughs> it's annoying. Unless she's actually physically broken a rib. I don't care. If you're not going to do it properly, there's no point doing it at all. Oh, I'm not getting into another argument, James. It's just not the right way to work. Got no time for crying. That was awful. It's fine. Honestly, I really agree with a lot of things you said, but she has improved so much. And I think that she deserves that. I couldn't have asked for any more support from him. He was so lovely. 
We're getting on really great, so that's fantastic. You look good, though. He was brilliant. He's a good boy. 48, 48, 48, 48. <laughs> this week, we're going to come back. We're going to do the jive. Kick, 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 kick. And hopefully, we're going to show them that we deserve to do that. Sweet, though. I mean, but just from watching, I've watched all the training from going, come on, to come on if, 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 if you want, or maybe we'll just have some chocolate first. <laughs> You're like a totally changed man. No, I don't think I've changed at all. I just think that maybe um, at the beginning, because Georgina was so busy with other th commitments as well, I think that I didn't really have any sympathy for that because yeah. I, I am a perfectionist as well. But at the same time, I could see how much it upset her on Saturday when... Uh, Judges were a little bit nasty to her, so I did give her a little bit of a break. But still in the studio, I'm still just as tough as I was yeah. from day one. And, and we have got on. I mean, we have got on, but we did have a yeah. bit of a rough patch, didn't we? No, we did. But, you know, we're mates, and we've got on from day one, really, haven't we? Yeah. And also... <laughs> <laughs> Ish. Um, other than the eating debacle. Um, but after getting them all in like that, it probably brings you closer together. Definitely. I definitely yeah. think so, yeah. Do you think that it's quite good going in as the total underdog? And I don't want to say this in a bad way, but people's expectations aren't going to be that high. Let, let, let's just say that. It's quite nice that you can come in and just jive with gusto. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody expects us to do a bad job, I suppose, and everyone kind of expects us to go out. So, in a way, we have nothing We've to only... prove. We can only, can you, you know... Up, yeah, we, we can only go up. We can't get any worse comments than what we did last no. week. So, that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, Georgina, how bad would it be for you to go this week after having got through... And I know that you felt like it was a miracle. Yeah, it would be You'd nice. now think, hold on a minute, I want to stay. It would be nice to sort of prove everyone wrong, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I really, I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> so, you know, but what I found was amazing was that the, even though the judges completely slated me, the public used their power to vote and yeah. got me through and, with, you know, it was a very fair thing. And do you quite like, let's just look at the positive in what Craig said, that he wants to come out and see you fly. Do you yeah, feel quite I good that about that? that was very sweet of him, actually, yeah. Um, we all want that. <laughs> it gives you a five. Yeah, it gives wow. you a five. Wow, that's generous, <laughs> Craig, thanks. What's your dream scenario, other than four tens? Um, the dream scenario for me, I mean, obviously, would be to pull it off on the night, which I know she can do. Oh, good luck. Um, and also, I think, I just want her to be able to do a ballroom dance. Good luck. Good luck very much. Thank you very much, Georgina and James. Thank you. That's all for today. Thank you to all my guests. Join us tomorrow when Zoe Ball and the Friday panel will assess our couple's chances. McFly perform and we cross live to final rehearsals. Now, the judges were a bit cruel to you, but take comfort in the fact that it's not personal. Good night. <laughs> it was a bit like a trifle.